Okay, this is a little experiment. Kind of just playing around here. Um, this is way too big. Um, you may remember a pot I made, I don't know, some time ago, and I said I did it all on the banding wheel. So uh, I thought I'd try to do that again. So what I've got here is just a plaster hump mold that I use sometimes to make some little dishes on. And usually I just cut out a square slab or something and pop them on there and let them just have a curve to them. But I'm actually going to try to do a little throwing on the banding wheel. <clears throat> if, if you've seen Carrie Radash, I hope that's how you say her last name, make pots, which I haven't other than just kind of photographs. She works on a sort of a turntable that looks like a banding wheel and sort of pinches things together and I mean I don't know I can't really speak to what she does because I've never seen it in person but anyway this is just sort of uh, my interpretation of sort of using this tool as a little hand wheel I guess you'd call it so anyway, this is just going to be a really small, tiny, like a bread plate, maybe, with a little foot on it. So I, I threw this slab out because um, it just seems to be, when I went to that Allison McGowan workshop a few weeks ago at Clayworks, she said she, that was part of the appeal to her, making hand, hand building, uh, part of the appeal to her process was just sort of throwing these slabs out and um, making them by hand as opposed to using the slab roller so yeah that is kinda I have found that to be sort of uh, you know maybe one way to get your aggression out too and it's kinda fun just to throw that thing out and it's also challenging to uh, make a slab that's fairly even in thickness and everything by just throwing it out on the table so maybe I'll do a little show of that at some point so you know I'm just playing around I really have no idea well, obviously, what I'm doing to a great extent with this technique. So, uh, anyway, just having a little fun. So, I also rolled this coil out by hand and I scored and slipped. And another little trick from the Allison McGowan workshop was she had her connecting the slip she used to connect things. She just had it in a little squirt bottle. I was just amazed at how clean she stayed. And, um,. Be nice to have some clean work habits. I'm a bit of a mess at the wheel and glazing and slipping. You know, I tend to slip my shoes. So anyway, I'm just kind of pinching this, and it looks a little big actually. It looks a little wide, but uh, I'm not going to fret over it too much since this is just a little experiment. All right, so I'm going to pinch this to raise the wall a little it's more or less round I think this is sort of one of the appeals to me with using this banding wheel as a wheel is that it you really sort of get this wonky sort of relaxed um, motion with the pots now another thing that I have seen photographs that Carrie Radash does, I hope I'm saying that right, is um, she uses her rib to really kind of straighten things out almost. Um, a serrated rib. I need one with a straight side here to get in here. Ugh. Oh well, I'm just going to kind of scrape it. I'm going to use my finger to get in there and do that. And then maybe, I don't know if that helped much or not, but anyway kind of fun to do. It looked neat, you know. So what else? I'm going to cut the top of this off with my wire because this seems to slow the wheel down less than using like a needle tool. Just use my cut off wire to cut that right off there. Hmm. I mean it looks pretty cool, right? I'm going to also just use my this is one of my favorite throwing ribs, this yellow Cheryl mud tool. See, I like the way the wheel really, you know, it just stops, it slows down. It's like like the 
smallest kick wheel, you know. So I'm just going to throw that foot a bit. Maybe smooth it out. I guess if you call that smooth. So later, I guess what I'll do is I'll take this off this plaster and maybe try to pinch a, a rim on it to make it like a little dish with a rim. Dish with a rim. Alright, so anyway, that's just a little fun for the end of my day here. And um, we'll see what happens with these. Alright, see ya.